So this is really just horrible what I'm seeing here. Of course, this is your perfect being and uh, I'm looking at some of these balance patch notes for Xenoverse 2. They are being translated and I have plenty of bad news, uh, a sparkle of good news, which, which really isn't good news. I'm just going to be completely honest here. Xenoverse 2 may have just been ruined let me go ahead and get the worst out of the way handy cannon has been nerfed absurdly nerfed you can no longer sidestep with it and the damage has been sharply reduced i'm reading these patch notes courtesy of vamplosion i think that's the user's name here on reddit uh, that's one source that i'm getting these patch notes from and they are being translated on the Dragon Ball Xenoverse Reddit. I'll leave a link to the uh, patch notes down below in the description or the comment section or whatever. But this is just horrible. Uh, the biggest thing is that Aura Slide has been absurdly nerfed as well. So they got Aura Slide and Handy Cannon, uh, but still no mention of fake death. So they may have come for the two incorrect moves and not corrected the one move that people actually wanted the nerf. So, you know, this this is exactly what we thought was gonna go down with this uh, balance patch. Couldn't touch fake death, but you 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 messed with handy cannon and, and aura slide. So aura slide is even worse here. The the damage has been completely butchered and what's worse is that you like from what is being described let me go down here, scroll down here. Uh, aura slide, decreased damage of each hit sharply and uh, something about combo ability. So I think they, they're, they're basically saying that they've nerfed the combo aspect of aura slide. Again, this is uh, English translations giving us a, a depiction of what's going on here. And this is terrible that that's the worst case scenario for aura slide so goku black is trashed here don't even bother with him anymore he's trash uh aura slide so of course android 13 is now trashed it, you know uh handy cannon i meant handy cannon is gone so that's he that makes him trash uh the other changes i'm looking at here spirit bomb which is the super variant not the super spirit bomb don't get your hopes up uh increased the tracking of the returning blast which nobody is going to get hit by that increase the time until the returning key blast disappears so this really doesn't matter this is one of those changes that's just like oh well you know we increase the tracking no one's going to sit there and let you hit it once they know it's out they're going to just sidestep step vanish or whatever and on top of that uh they're probably just going to see you charging it and they're just going to reverse dash you and break your stamina so doesn't matter. Uh, Kyle Ken Kamehameha increased the speed of the key blast, makes it easier to connect uh, after attack hits, blah, blah, blah. So pointless, doesn't, don't care, two bars of key, whatever. Uh, Kamehameha increased the speed of the key blast, made any enemy easier to hit after attack connects. So we don't know what this means yet. Uh, does this mean that it'll be like burst Kamehameha, like you can dash cancel it? We don't know really doesn't matter because nobody uses that move and it's i won't say it's trash it's just a meh move that you know therefore it's a meh change riot javelin increase the speed of the key blast no one no one's gonna let you use that if you're nearly dead you're already gonna no one's no one's gonna put you in a scenario to let you use riot javelin uh, increase the damage of the key blast when near death again nobody's gonna let you do it once you're if you're nearly finished you're finished not only that but no one's gonna just let you post up and hit that key blast because it's really slow very easily telegraphed it's 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 a terrible move uh, let's see rebellion spear slightly decreased key consumption rate doesn't matter don't care uh, 10 times Kamehameha increase the speed of the beam uh, 
Nobody cares. Increase the speed of beam. What about the key charge? We did, did you make the key charge any faster? Did you make that charging process any faster? No, you made the speed of the beam faster and easier to hit. Blah, blah, blah. No one cares. Increase the damage of the charged beam. So, again, pretty much nothing changed with that. No one's going to use it. Uh, consecutive, consecutive energy blast. Increase damage, increase tracking. So, this one might be it might be decent and i say decent because they might put it back to the way it was in xenoverse one in xenoverse one consecutive energy energy blast was low-key a very good move and very underrated so could that potentially be what's going on here could they be putting it back to where it was in xenoverse one nobody knows we'll just have to see but from these patch notes it might be the case uh let's see Kamehameha increases the speed of the beam. It's already fast. That's kind of like a, a pointless change. That's the point of the move. Is it's a faster variant of Kamehameha. So who cares? Menacing beam, increase the damage, increase tracking for kick, increase range on kick. So hmm, well, I'll have to see with that one, but it's still going to be a crap move, which is why no one uses it. Justice pose, increase time active. That might actually be good. Who who knows? That could actually be good. Let's see. Sonic kick, increase track and increase rate. Uh oh no no. Increase range, increase the ability to connect after successful hit. So that that's a pointless move. Nobody really goes along with that. It, it doesn't matter. I see destructo disc increase the time until a disc disappears unless you're going to increase the tracking no one cares so this could be good because the little lock on lock off maneuver that you could do to make it come back i think this one could low-key be a pretty good change but most of this most of this pat these patch notes are just wrecked it's like either it's a, a titular like placebo effect change that no one's gonna notice or it's something that's completely shattering the meta so uh kikoho which might be uh what's that move again uh key blast cannon that's what i think that's what this move is made it unblockable if charged made it so that there's no pause between the start of the attack and charging no no I th i'm thinking of the wrong move the kihoho what is that again whatever it is it might be good because it's unblockable now uh let's see gorgeous shot made it easy to attack with crap no one uses it it's impractical uh dark side beam or dark darkness i beam increased damage so this might be good they don't say by what amount but if it's by a, even a d like if it does at least like 2500 damage then this might be a decent change and might be worth looking into picking up this move namic finger increased tracking sped up on collision detection Let's see, Mega Destructo Disc, increase the speed of the attack. Nah, I don't think that really matters. I'm looking, I hope they put Death Slicer down there. I want to see what they do with that. Uh, let's see, what else is going on here? Time Skip, uh, not sure which one, increase damage. Oh, so this might, this could be a good one, but... I, again this this whole patch is terrible but this depending on what you know they might be talking about time skip molotov this could be what they're talking about because it's saying increased damage i'm i'm thinking now this could be good because if it does a respectable like for it to be a five bar ult i'm, I'm wanting it to do at least twelve thousand damage for that much key if it does that much damage which they don't put the number you know with the time skip down here so i don't know but it does say increase damage and the only time skip move that it, it just might be a good change i'm gonna look into that one personally when the uh 
patch drops petrifying spit increase the time petrified after a hit doesn't really matter because i've seen people freak out about this on twitter you forget that there's pr practically nothing you can do you can't stamina break you can't heavy charge hit the moment that you do they're gonna flip and spiral out of it so it really doesn't matter whatever something about able beam i don't know what able beam is um increase the damage whatever and again when they say increase the damage if they increase it by 100 damage which is practically nothing that's an increase the damage to them so it's really like eh. let's see finish breaker increase damage not really what that move need i would have liked to hear have heard about a increase the tracking or something but whatever uh, atomic blast increase the damage if, if fired from the ground increased ease of firing from ma max damage so they're fixing that little uh window of time that you have to hold to get the extra damage and it says it does even more damage when when fired from the ground so i don't know that limits the move a lot if you have to be on the ground to fire it I don't know I have to see numbers before I call that a good or bad but looking at most of these changes is terrible like <laughs> aura slide and and handy cannon being done the way that they were done and it's a slew of other moves down here garlic uh, gallic gun does less damage uh, let's see raccoon no, no no let's see crusher ball does less damage and decrease tracking so i know a couple of people who use that i think tobarama uh tobarama tv usually uses that move so sorry buddy they hit that move it is nerfed saucer blade increased area of attack not what that move needed yeah this a lot of this is just terrible most of this is terrible we we found a couple of hidden gems here or there but yeah, a lot of these changes is completely ruined Xenoverse. I, uh, there's a lot of other stuff here. Uh, I heard on Twitter, and I'm not seeing that change down here, but Blue Hurricane allegedly has a bigger hitbox, which it was really never the issue with that move. It was the way that it hit. like. With it having an increased hitbox, that's not going to fix the issue of the move like nudging the uh, the victim out of the, the hit. Usually, you know, in Xenoverse 1, it drug them in. In Xenoverse 2, it pushes them out and, and therefore makes the move do less damage. So the increased hitbox isn't going to help. It really just does nothing. I'm looking for burning spin. Now, if that move gets fixed. Oh, we might have something here if they mess with the way that you can control it and the, the way that the opponent reacts that could be a decent gem that gets you know brought up to xenoverse 2 but a lot of this was crap a lot of these moves got hit because of crybabies and i'm still not seeing anything about fake death so they'll do all these changes for practically nothing so let me know what you think in the comment section below if i see any more updates that are pertinent uh hit me up on a discord or hit me up on twitter and i will probably make a video about it if it is important enough uh if it's something negligible i won't bother but of course i've been your perfect being the number one anime gaming and dragon ball content and entertainment source on youtube of course the name being perfection and i'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell enable all notifications and i will see you in the next video